Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in this video, I'm, I'm mastering a solo piano track completely in the box. So I'm covering some fundamental tools, mastering techniques you may apply to master your own tracks in this genre. So before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mastered, request a quote at bsmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. It helps me to bring more videos. And now, let's get to the video. What is important to master a solo piano track? Of course, a great piano is important. The playing itself is important. And the playing will determine what uh, processing should be applied. There could be two cases. One is calm and the other is uh, turbulent. By calm case, I mean that the performance is uh, recorded with fine microphones in a way that gives you as a listener the best seat in the house. You can even hear the uh, around the piano and uh, some of the room. And in this case, there should be little processing except for transparent limiting to add a couple of dB on the loudest parts. Dynamic ra range uh, must be maintained, but a little uh, parallel compression can bring up the quiet stuff. By turbulent case, I mean it is when the piano is closed mic and sometimes things just get uh, wonky. The piano can be so dynamic, especially when the player alternatively bangs and whispers on the piano that it is very difficult to control. What shall we do in this case? Compress it, by, but compressors can ruin the attack of uh, the piano. A good limiter might be able to knock down those pigs, but usually this would require manual automation which can take hours. So, for today's uh, tutorial, I have this uh, dramatic, intense classical piano piece composed by F. Uh, Burg Müller. And first, let's have a listen to a part of this uh, track before I start mastering processing. My uh, strategy is to apply some EQ, a bit of parallel compression, maybe some widening and uh, some clean limiting. Just a touch of each, nothing too heavy. First I start uh, with a mass EQ and for this purpose I'm using mod orange EQ. I make a low cut at 40 Hz and take care of the very low and uh, rumble, which doesn't really add anything to this uh, track. I also use my orange EQ to cut some uh, resonances in low mid area, in stereo portion, within 100-300 ish region, but uh, without changing the tone of the piano to make the track more relaxed, uh, so to say. Next, I use an additive EQ, and for this purpose I use Pulsar 
Audio Massive. This piano track sounds dark and um, to me it needs a brighter sheen. Therefore I cut 150 hertz a little bit and boost some high mids and uh, highs by a few dB to add gloss and shine to the piano. And now let's AB this track with all EQ's processing. As I mentioned earlier, for solo piano recordings, little or no compression is uh, normally used. In this case, I add an instance of unison mastering compressor, and I use it in a parallel compression mode. I set a low threshold so that the compressor tends to stay in gain reduction for most of the time with the soft ratio 1, 5 to 1. And the compressor contributes most uh, to the overall output during the quieter passages of the piano. As the uh, track gets louder, gain reduction starts to be applied even more substantially to a point at which the compressor contribution to the overall program level is of no importance. Compression applied in this way produces a far more uh, transparent and musical effect than the uh, traditional compression. Now let's uh, be this uh, track with this type of uh, compression processing. Finally, I use some widening and some clean limiting. For widening, I use stage 1 from Leapwin Audio. I prefer its uh, simplicity as I only want to widen this uh, track naturally. Stage 1 is one of the most uh, natural sounding uh, widener, reason uh, reasonably clean and uh, transparent, and uh, it uh, retains the center well. For limiting, I use a Sonox limiter, which can do wonders if used 
correctly. I have found that turning off uh, safe mode uh, really opens up the sound for the better. The enhance feature on the Sonox Limiter is quite a best. It gives me a nice clean uh, wide master. It really has some extraordinary capabilities when it comes uh, to the sonic choices I can make at this uh, final level processing. And now let's make final a bean of the original and mastered versions. <laughs> 